I'm T.S. Madison. Oh, you don't know me? Well, now you'll never forget me. Yay! I got a big mouth, big dreams, and big things to say. I live my truth out loud and in color unapologetically. Oh, I'm sorry. Does that offend you? Well, girl, bye. Come on here and join me on my journey to superstardom. <laughs> the T.S. Madison Experience premieres this March on WeTV. Hey friends, what's going on? Jason Carter here. This is Jason Unleashed. Glad to have you here. Thank you so much for watching. Good to see you. Happy Monday. I hope you guys have an incredible weekend. Ready for an incredible week. My guest today is someone who is thebomb.com. Yes, she is author, internet sensation, businesswoman, mogul, television personality, all around badass. T.S. Madison is here in the building today on Unleashed talking about her new show on WeTV, The T.S. Madison Experience. It's going to be incredible. Premiering in March, brought to you by the wonderful people of RuPaul's Drag Race, World of Wonder. So yeah, we're going to talk about it all, you guys. Waiting for T.S. to come into the room. You guys on the drill. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, hey, Mark. Boom. Wait a minute, Mark. Leave them below. And uh, we'll try to get to them because, you know, a lot of people want to ask questions. But going to have a really good conversation with T.S. Have been a fan for a long time. Have uh, run in the same circles. And now we're going to connect. See, the beauty of COVID. Connecting with people left and right. Uh, T.S. is here, so let's go live. Bam! With T.S. Madison. Woo! 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 Hi, Jason. <laughs> Hi. Oh, my gosh. Why can't I hear you through my headphones? It's fine. Hi, T.S., how are you? I'm good, can you hear me now? I can hear you perfectly. Okay, let me get this light together, honey. Let me I feel that, I feel off. that. Wait a minute, I got to wipe this fucking camera off. Oh, excuse me, I don't want to cuss too bad. You can, you know? It's fine, I cuss on my own show too, and I feel you on wiping the camera off. There's nothing more frustrating than when people have foggy pictures and videos, right? Yes. Uh, oh, uh, hi, you know. T.S., people were hyper excited to have you on, that you're coming on the show today. Oh, they were excited for me? Yeah. What'd they say? Well, slid into the DMs, were like, we love Maddie. Oh, my God. Heart emoji, heart emoji. But welcome to Jason Unleash. Can I still tell you, say Happy New Year? Yeah. We ain't seen each other, so you can say Happy New Year, of course. <laughs> happy New Year. How you doing? Uh, I, I'm very happy. It's a new year. Um, it's a new year, so a lot of things going on in my life, and I'm very happy about it. And um, yeah, shit, happy new year, baby. How you been doing? I'm good. So I'm in your hometown. I'm in the 305. Now. Oh, you in Miami? What you doing down there in Dade County, baby? What's the tea down there? Yes, Dade County and not Broward. One, two. I live here now. <laughs> I know. Shocker. You done left California and done went down there to Dade County. Yeah, it's been it's been, it's been a it's been an experience, Maddie. It's it's been uh, an ex but I like it. It's cleaner. It's slower. My dog can run around and and do whatever she wants down here. She couldn't do that in L.A. Oh, wait a minute, wait. <laughs> look, 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 it's yeah, I know. I'm here though, so it's, it's you know it's 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 a last year thing. But let's talk about you killing the game. Congratulations, the T.S. Madison Experience, WeTV in March. Mm -hmm. How and what are we going to get that we haven't gotten from you already? Uh, well, the T.S. Madison Experience is just that. It's, it's the T.S. Madison Experience. Like, people are going to get the opportunity, you know, because what I do now online is I, I, I'm able to uh, control the narrative of what's yes. out. Like, I'm able to put out, like, what I want the people to see. Right. And, you know, what side of me I want them to see or whatever. You know, in this situation that I'm in right now, this is a journey into a space where my whole life is in somebody else's hands. And, 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 and now it's my story is being told through the, through the eye of someone who's, you know, who's interested in it and found, you know, found it to be something that they, they, they felt was very interesting and they want to tell the story. So, you know, I have to, I'm very nervous about it. Like I was talking about it on my live the other day. I'm nervous about it because I have to chill and I have to watch what, what, what was captured, you know, and right. in the whole thing of what was captured, 
there was lots of things that I found out about myself. Lots of things that I found out that were very wrong. Like? Um, maybe the way that, you know, I interpret things and uh, the way that I think that people perceive, you know, things that that I thought was just, it's just like when you step on somebody's foot and they, and they never tell you yeah. until they tell you. Yeah. I'm like, oh, well, bitch, I didn't know I was stepping on your foot. And then, and then I'm looking at like, oh, I am doing these things. You know what I'm saying? I learned very much. I, I learned lots about myself. I learned lots of things about my mother, you know? Yeah. Like lots of stuff that I was like, oh, shit. You know, you don't know that a TV show will bring those, will bring lots of things out. It will also bring out a drive in you that, you know, because you got millions of people out there that are going to be watching you. Sure. And they're going to be watching you trying to make it happen for yourself. And it's not easy. Like, it, Jason, you know. It, it is not easy. But with that said, though, Maddie, you saw all these things about yourself that it was almost as if a mirror had been turned on you and shown you everything that you thought you weren't, but you are. How did that cause an evolution in you? What, ha what has been the result of, of that? And how has that brought you to the person you are now? I mean, it has to have changed something in you. Well, I mean, because this is the season one show, first season, you know, ground root show, um, it was, it really blew me back. Like I was okay. blown. Like I thought reality television or just television in general was very easy to, to create and produce because I do online. Online and TV are com completely too right. different. Yes. You know this, you know, because you can be, it, things can be edited right to a way you know and then things can be really happening which which throughout the course of what was going on was really happening and so each day that we would film some stuff i would try to try to take away something that i learned in a in a in a, in a scene that we filmed it was like oh my god especially when tensions got very high amongst people that i love yeah and i was just like damn i know that you that I that I was doing that I did this to you or or I you felt this way I didn't know this you know what I'm saying like I didn't know that this is the way that you felt about me or, or, or I did and it really made me want to repair that stuff and it really made me want to fix that because it was it was just insane yeah and and I, I you know I felt convicted I felt convicted with stuff. And I was like, I gotta, like, these are people that I love. I gotta fix right. all things. I gotta fix this. And I just hope that this is not the, per I don't want people out there in the world to perceive me as that person because that's not who I am. You know, I'm a human being and I, I make mistakes. I fuck up and I say some shit that I ain't supposed to say. I also learned in the situation too, how important I am as an individual in the world. Yeah. I I, I, under, I I started to realize that, and, and 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 I started to understand like the way that I need to. <laughs> I have to watch a lot of stuff that I say. Yeah. Because I I can be a bit. <laughs> but Maddie, everything you just said is so beautiful, and here's why: because you are talking about accountability, culpability, and taking responsibility for yourself, your life, your family, what you say, how you act, and your actions. That's a beautiful thing. One. Two, this show, shout out to World of Wonder, We TV. Yes. This show, I, I believe, for you, and I could be wrong, but just from everything you just said, this show is a gift that's going to show people on the internet, the hey, whomever, a side of T.S. Madison that has always been there, but never had the opportunity to really get through the bullshit. Because yes. you, you've had to go through the fire with with beefs with people with whatever whatever and now it's like ah, oh, you've been delivered and now it's just you've turned the page into a new chapter it's a beautiful thing i'm so happy for you and, and the fans cannot wait yes i know that. jason listen the network said that it was like a it was a uh the, it was a, a great outpour of um support and yeah. excitement for me like they said they got a lot of it they were very well and see that they and it was only a 30 second teaser of pictures of me saying i'm coming yeah. like they haven't even dropped the the press 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 yet like like which which they're getting ready to do because the show's 
coming out in March. They only sure. put out, they only put a teaser out. They ran it through uh, Growing Up Hip Hop. Um, I do know that I I do know this bit that we will be on on Thursdays. I know that. Yeah, because they made us in in the little thing we had to say Thursday. So I do know that we'll be on on Thursday nights. Well, I think. Cool. <laughs> I, I hey, think you know, look, you could be on Sunday morning at two a.m. Yes, I want them to see. I want them to see. <laughs> uh, and Jason, you know what? And, and, and even through all of this, I'm really trying to get myself together because, like, I'm, I'm a bitch from the internet. So you know, we internet and internet people and TV people are two different people yes. because right. TV people have this whole thing of it's a different type of press. It's entertainment TV. It's entertainment tonight. It's it's mm -hmm. all like the new, it's all like a different type of press that goes on in this and a different type of uh, 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 reception. When I went, because I'm, I'm also a, ju a guest judge on RuPaul's Drag Race this season. <laughs> yeah, so, and when I went to go film it, uh, uh, RuPaul had a very deep conversation with me um, yeah. that we filmed. I don't know if they're going to air it because I don't know. Like, I don't even, they might, they may not. But RuPaul had a very, very deep conversation with me and expressed to me, you know, like expressed to me like, Madison, understand your purpose and understand that, you know, there are things that you might like you're stepping over into a world, a realm of things that are um, that are new to you. But you, you, you understand how to navigate it. And, and she said a lot of things that are important in, in this in and in, when you in do go through this internet stuff is not gonna be important in this space or whatever and you you're not responsible to respond to everything like don't respond to all the stuff. And I'm right. an internet bitch, you know you clap at me, I wanna clap back. Like what you said, who said so, you know <laughs> and Ru was like, you know, if there are times that you may want to do that, but you know, you have to look at what's the bigger the bigger thing in the situation. Yes. Is, is that gonna make you any money? I'm like, girl, me clapping back at a bitch that made me a lot of a lot of motherfucking money, Ru, you know. And but it's just I, I'm I'm trying to change the way. Now I don't wanna lose Cause I ain't never gonna be too hood for Hollywood, goddamn it. And I don't never wanna ever lose, you know, being uh, the TS because that's what people love me for being right. loud, loud, and in color. But you know, I'm 43 now. I ain't got time to be doing a whole heap of shit that I used to do when I was 33. Listen, Jason, I've been on the internet. I know some people stumbled across me with new weed, new weed is 22 inches. That was in 2014. <clears throat> That was, and that was in 2014. That was in 2014. Others was following me from YouTube, like that I had a YouTube like in 2005, 2006. Mm -hmm. Then others were following me, you know, in, on, in, in the dark areas. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. In the, <laughs> I remember those areas, T.S. In the dark areas, you know, right. You're correct. <laughs> in the dark areas, you know. <laughs> up under the bed and things like that you know um so i've been i have been very a big influence on the internet for years it's, it's right. been it's been about what were we in 2021 yeah it's been about 15 years 15, yeah about 15 16 years that i've been you know heavy a deep uh a, 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 a figure on the internet and so people mm -hmm. might say like tomorrow let, let's say tomorrow or let's say in march the show blows up to be a huge thing or whatever, and then we go on to be because 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 we are gearing up for it to be a series, you know. So and 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 the series go on and on and on, and then some people may discover this or whatever. They're like, "Well, damn, she just blew up overnight." No, no, no I've been in this for uh, this has been a very long time, and just because right. people have to get out of the space of. Oh, I never heard of her before, and I don't know who that is. Who that? Well, just because you've never heard of it doesn't mean that people don't are not familiar with things like there are some people who are familiar with all things that go on you know in the world and then there are some people who are not or some people who are not interested for me in this whole situation what's a big up for me in this is that i've never hidden my past I've, i'm very vocal about my past i'm very vocal about my uh uh uh, uh presence in uh, in the trans world, as far as being a, a former adult film film producer, mm -hmm. actress, star, whatever, you know, and being a part of the, a, whole, the, a whole community of, of girls that, that were involved in sex work. I just really want my life 
after this is all or, or when it's all doing whatever it's doing. I just want my life to be a a, a, a reflection of you don't have to be in a place always. Right. You can always evolve. You can always, you know, move forward. And just because they told you you can't doesn't mean that it's true. You, you <laughs> Yo, well, listen, that's a word, one. Two, you had said that people, someone would say, well, I don't know who T.S. Madison is, et cetera, et cetera. But here's also the beauty of this show. One, it's making history as an unscripted docuseries of a woman of the trans experience. Okay? Yes. We have Pose, that's a scripted drama. Yeah. What you're doing now, even if no one has ever heard of you, which is like, if they haven't, what rock are they living under? But even if they're coming into meet you now on this show, what you are doing is still furthering your purpose because you are showing people, you're showing these motherfuckers down in Florida and the people who want to storm the Capitol and all these people who feel that the tr people of the trans experience are mentally ill or all these things that that's not true. It's you not are true. changing a narrative. A narrative, correct. You know, and it's a whole narrative because I'm not out here and, and, and being, being Jason that I'm 43 years old, I, I walked in that room with all the executives of of, of, of of World of Wonder and and maybe two executives at uh, WE TV, and I was explaining to them that I'm not going to be throwing bottles and and fighting and doing all that stuff on television. Not as not as a black trans woman, I'm not going to be doing it. That we're not going to get you're not going to get me in a place on television where I'm misrepresenting you know, what it is. Like, yes, we have fights. And yes, we have arguments. We have these things. But that's not what I'm, I'm that's not all, you know, right. and, 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 and I made it clear that I'm not going in that direction. Like, I'm not going in a messy direction. I'm not going to be on TV outing men. I'm not, I'm not doing any of that stuff, any of that stereotype stuff that, they, that comes with the girls. I'm not doing that. And, 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 and if people may think that that's boring, well, you got to find something else to watch because I'm Bro. not doing that here. I'm not doing that. And I'm I, not fighting. I'm not. I'm. I'm gonna have. In life, we have altercations. We have di uh, 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 disagreements amongst friends, and we definitely have disagreements in business. So we have lots of that. You, you see, a lot of adversity happen. I'm not gonna be there busting bottles and doing all that. I don't do that off tape unless I gotta whoop a bitch ass. If, if we. If some, <laughs> If a pussy asshole try me in the place, if I got to whoop a bitch at, but we're not going to be doing that on, on in that space. I'm on not, on that national TV. And Yo. so what made me feel good about that is I was able to sit at, at, at the front of the table and have like this meeting and, and was like, oh my God, Madison, you, you really are in, are in an empowerment situation because you've taken control of your life. Mm -hmm. And you, you're, you're explaining to these people, you're not going to fall into, which they were not trying to do it, but I was right. making, I was re, re making yeah. sure. You're not falling into a whole place of, you know, stereotypes. And I'm going to say this, that they may not tell nobody, but I'm going to tell everybody. Ooh. The, the network, the, the production company, before we started filming this, it was important for me that I told them that I need to have hired people of color, brown and black and brown people. I need black and brown people in my camp. Yeah. I need that. And I need that because I want this show, I want to I want this story to be told by black and brown people. You know that that understand and I don't want it to be told from a perspective of what you think. I want people that, that's in here that knows. I want the cameraman to be black and brown. I want the sound person to be black and brown. I want I want a, I want the productive producers. I want this and, and I I it took us a second until they were able to get right go through. And I didn't know <laughs> this is something else I learned about Holly. I didn't know that it was such a lack of black stuff you know like well it's it, there it's it's not so much a lack as it as the as if the people just don't know where to find or they're not interested in finding those people wait real quick shout out to everyone watching shout out to be rich tony laundry with tony mayhem vanji silky ganache there's so many people watching I can't even see my yeah everyone everyone 
is yeah, watching. My comments but, done stop, so I don't even see the comments. They didn't. They they probably flying over there on your eyes. They it. are. Everyone's loving you, but um, but congratulations for you having the wherewithal to get in front of the yes people because they could have easily been like, Maddie, nah, we're good. But you said in order for me, my likeness, to be anywhere in the room in any capacity, I need this, that, and this, and yeah. the third, and. You got that because you realized the importance of blackness. Getting back to your conversation with Rue, with Rue, did you cry in that conversation with Rue? Rue always makes me emotional because I, I look at Rue. I remember being a 12-year-old, 13-year-old boy mm -hmm. sitting on the floor watching you better, say, Shay, yeah. Shantay, like watching this person, you know, that I, I was trying to have a connection with because I was like, it's that's me but not me you know what i'm saying yeah but it's me right now but what i knew what what i knew and i'm just gonna this gonna bounce a little bit so you get it what i knew was me was in uh, 1992 when i watched the crying game now that uh -huh. person, i knew that was me but yeah. rule was always a representation before rule been out since south right. bridge so i was i was able to do this or whatever and then me manifesting talking to that person on television saying one day I'm going to be your friend. One day I'm going to meet you. One day I'm going to know you. I'm going to, like me talking to the television saying, I don't know who you are, but one day I'm going to know you. Like one day. And then for for us to have a great relationship like we have, you know, it, it's a, because Rue loves me boots. Yeah. Like, you know, Jason, you know, Rue loves me boots. You know, we don't, yeah. we don't work together in places like Rue loves me down, you know, and, and makes time for me and mm -hmm. all of that stuff. And it's just like, I was like, wow, I manifested this at 12 years old. And for her and World of Wonder to be, you know, people that are a part of, of framing my, my future and framing my destiny, it's, it just was something that's, that I, I know that was divine. You yeah. know, it was divine. And so I get emotional when I'm around Rue, but I just, I, I still be in the phase of, of like, like, a, like, like, that's my mama. That's my gay mama. Like, I, mm -hmm. I, I still be in a place of oh that's mother you know right. yeah and I, I, I control myself because she, she i make her laugh she keys boots every time that we get in it she keys down and you know when she talked to me it was my mother talks to me all the time and i listen to my mother and and and, and rue was somebody that's like my mother to me in a, in a in a space and so when she talked to me I was like, girl, I'm listening, but shit, I still bash a hoe if I got to, <laughs> you know, and she, she finds it funny, but it does make me emotional on the inside, but I, I know how to hold it in. I'm like, mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, Maddie, Rue, I, I, I feel everything you're saying because I too was watching Super Mario The World. And then when you finally, this is someone who we've looked up to our whole lives, right? And then when you're in the presence of that greatness and the kindness mm -hmm. and the attention that like when you talk to Rue or you're, you're in conversation with Rue, there's no one else in the room. It's just you and Rue, right? Yeah. And so I had a conversation with Rue one time as well, where by the end, I was like bawling my eyes out because he cares so much about the people that he allows, the, the friend, the, the, the people he allows to be in his space are there intentionally, not yeah. because they so happen to be there. So it's, 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 it's one of those things where you just feel like, is this real life? But yeah. It, it is for you and you did manifest this. And now, like I said, you're turning the page when you had mentioned about being uh, the responsibility you have. I have to ask this question because it blows my mind. Why in the black community still, they still refuse to see trans people of the trans experience as just that people. What is that? I, I personally think it's because we're definitely heavily rooted in um, religious beliefs. It's, it, it, it does have to come. It, 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 it's, it's the church. It is definitely the church. And, and like, listen, somebody will tell you about Sodom, Sodom and Gomorrah and don't know anything about, about the flood that happened. Like, they'll tell you how God destroyed two cities, but, they, but failed to, to realize that God washed the whole earth with 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 man from sin you know they forget about that but it's just like right. oh sodom and gomorrah you, you know y'all y'all gays is going to hell all y'all gays or y'all fags and you know like that so and they'll and they'll always rest on that so i do really feel like that it's 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 definitely bi biblical based and also because um you know uh 
things that have been rooted in, in slavery, like, because we, we can't, you know, negate from that, that um, there was a thing called bucking, uh, uh, buck breaking, a, what I, somebody didn't know what it is when they, when, when they would, when the master would rape the, uh, the, the, the man, you know, in front of the, the people to, you know, buck breaking, I think it mm -hmm. was, so, you know, so, you know, and they, they attribute that to uh, uh, in, in homosexuality, inferiority, you know, and, 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 and the demise of, of the black, the, the black family, you know, which partially, you know, th there are some truths to, to some of, some of that logic. However, people are born the way they are. There are people that are born, that are born trans. There are people that are born gay. There are people that are born this way. That's not something that I, that I was taught. Like I didn't, I didn't, nobody took, I didn't take a fucking class on, you know, how to be or how to be trans or want to be trans or or how to be gay or you know and and here I need to say this while I'm here and why I, I don't know how many people are watching because my thing is frozen so uh, my last the last uh, five hundred five hundred and thirty people are watching yeah that's the algorithm but you'll it'll be it'll be, it'll be, a, it'll be a lot afterwards um when 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 I was growing up I went through different levels of what it is and 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 there was a person who I made a post the other day. And I, I, cause I stand up for gay rights and trans rights and things like that. I stand up for that because, you know, that's just what it is. They say, well, why are you always talking about you're trans Madison? And why are you always talking about stuff with gay men? And I'm like, well, before I became, before I was totally trans, I was a gay man. Mm -hmm. I was a gay man first. You know, I, I went through different levels of identity. So I'm not going to sit over here and act like that those those areas of my teenage years didn't happen. Like I didn't, you know, or or I didn't, you know, or I wasn't involved. Like they said, well, why do you like drag queens? Why do you like drag? And why do you like this? Like, bitch, I was all of the, that's all a part of my, that's, that all funnels into the creation of the evolution of. Like if you look at a thing and it shows the evolution of something, like, like, like they try to say we came from the ocean, and we evolved into that. You'll see the the way it says we came out of the ocean. It was this and that, and that. or we can't. Or we evolved from monkeys. You'll see that this, 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 this. You'll see the different. All of that is a part of me. Mm -hmm. So yeah, when I say gay, gay men, gay, that's, I, I maybe I need to say I'm queer, a queer trans. That look, it's an ever going, it's a never ending battle of identity, right? How we identify now. I think now more than ever, people are, are, are hyper aware, in addition to being hypersensitive of, of pronouns and how we label things. And it's hard to get it right, right? Because everyone has a different way that everyone identifies different. Like my, my pronouns are he, him, and he, him, and his. Right. right, and mine so, are she, her, and hers. Right, right, right. But people, but tomorrow I may decide to be she, hers, and you know, like it's just. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> Maddie, I don't look 2020, 2021, anything can happen. But back to your question, though, it's like you people are wanting the right or wrong way to identify. And they're it's just it's hard. It's one of those it's one of those tricky things. But you have managed, though, to uh, in spite of it all, you have managed to be staunchly in support of LGBTQ. I remember last summer with um, BLM, I was pissed because when I would enter Black Trans Lives Matter, people said in my DMs like, F you faggot, all these things, but those people are of the Black experience as well. Why can't we celebrate and protect our trans brothers and sisters? That's something you have done on a whole other level. On a whole, like listen, even though I know that some of them trades would fuck me up if I was ever in their neighborhood, you get what yeah. I'm saying? Or they would try to, or would fuck me and slice my throat when they done, I understand that they are black. Right. They are black, you know, and right. I think that what happens in situations like that, people forget that we are black. Right. They think that we are, we are uh, excluded uh, because we are, we're, we fall under the LBGT umbrella and we like, they it, that just, that just took away our blackness. Right. And they think that we have like these protections when they really don't understand like racism exists in the queer community too. It exists in the in the trans community too. It exists in the whole LBGT umbrella. The racism mm -hmm. exists there. You know, yep. and I've I've experienced it. I've Same. experienced it. I completely experienced it. You know, and people need to understand that we're not protected 
as black people because we fall under the LBGT umbrella. Listen, we 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 still can't get a fucking brown dot on the on the damn on the the the, the, uh, the flag. Yeah. We can't get a brown a brown light on there. Right, it's sad. It's it's and that's one of the, that's one of the most infuriating things to me is because you mentioned uh, blackness. We are not a, a monolith. We are not homogenous. We are, and so to police someone's blackness because they are not in in accordance with what you think is black is ridiculous. And I fight that every day being being a gay black man. I can Jason, only imagine. I'm going to take it even a step further. If you are a black person fighting for black rights and you exclude black women, black trans women, black gay men, mm -hmm. you know, black trans men, you don't want rights, sweetie. You want privilege. Boom. Wait. For the people in the back, they want what? Privilege. Okay. You don't want rights. You want privilege. Because you can't march. You can't fight. You can't do and, and say, well, not for this one, and not right. for that one, and not for this. And you know, they not, you know, they, they can't be up under this because they faggots, right. or they're dykes, right. or you know, or, or those women. Now, like, like it's, it's, you can't do it because you ain't doing nothing but furthering white supremacy. That's just what it is. And you move that out of the way. You move. Let, let's say you defeat the whole, the whole stronghold of white supremacy, and you come mm -hmm. in with the, with the same ideas ideology of that of yes it, it, it has to be black a black man black alpha male and i got a fuck pussy mm -hmm. and we only got this system set up for for black men right you know you yep. just excluded so much out you you haven't done anything but replace white supremacy with but with with your black, black masculinity, yeah, straight yeah, up, you know. Look. And so, we'll, 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 we'll toxic <laughs> male, black male, you know, supremacy. I agree. So it's just you you can't do that. So that's so once again, if you are a African American person, uh, it's particularly men and women. If you are a African American person and you are excluding your trans sisters, your trans brothers from the equality fight, you do not want equality. You want privilege. Boom. Period. I I couldn't have said it better myself, Libra sister. Like that's a one hundred percent. I'm glad that you so beautifully articulated that because for months now, and even prior to BLM and everything that happened in 2020. I would have conversations with people and it was always, I, I remember working at this outlet and my, and I had a black co-host and we were talking about Kevin Hart and Kevin Hart's um, old, old comments about, you know, hitting his son over the head with the, with the dollhouse and the makeup artist and the black co-host said, well, that's just how he feels. Like he's, he's okay. He's okay to feel that way. Like, you know, you have to accept it. I'm thinking like, Okay, so I have to, I mean, fine, yes, there is truth to that. He can feel however he feels, but why can't our, our straight cis brothers and sisters also see how wrong that is, though? Like, why, like, why, is, it, why, why is it okay for, for someone to have those kind of egregious thoughts, even though they are his own, but I have to accept the way you see things. Why can't you at least try to come and see, see what's happening on our side? And also, I love there, you, made, you made an incredible comment that has resonated with me for the longest time. You said that your existence does not equal their extinction. No, it doesn't. It does not. And I think that that's what they think because a lot of times they've been taught that we're, like we trans people, definitely in particular, and gay men are, are like, uh, are, are, the, are the detriment to the black to the black family, you know, procreate. Listen, it's so many, it's so many us gays and trans running around here in the world, and it's so many fa fatherless uh, 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 kids running around at the same. They double us, so yeah. somebody's still fucking. We still here, and somebody's <laughs> still fucking some pussy and putting kids in this motherfucker. Somebody's still fucking. Right. We ain't fucked up that shit yet. Yeah, yeah, I feel that. Getting back to the show. It seems like it's this has had such an incredible impact on you. What do you want people to take away from the show when they watch it? What is what are your hopes? I'm human. Trans people are human. Uh trans black trans women are are
black trans black trans women are women um well all trans women are women but i'm i'm talking from a black experience so i don't want nobody out there watching and think that i'm you know I'm, I'm i can only speak from my experience you know um uh i want them to understand that th this world is not given to us and, and and just as much difficulties as uh uh they face we face it if not 10 times harder you know the odds are stacked against me because one the way that I'm viewed in the world, you know, I'm just, I want people to take away from this whole situation that we are human too. Mm -hmm. And all the human goals, aspirations, dreams, and things that, 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 that are, that are, that are thoughts in our heads apply to me too. Right. And on this journey, you'll see this ups, downs, like shit. I, I can't give a lot away. I got, Cause I was just about to say, shit because this happened you know yeah and and, and and it's like i just want people to take away that we're human right period human and, and we see you ts you are talented powerful incredible artistic Funny. creative you're the bomb.com and i'm Funny. and beautiful you look thank you baby you look and incredible I, today thank you i was waiting on you to tell me i was pretty you're, well you. i mean look listen when you was doing that peanut butter, when you was on the peanut butter video, I was like, God damn, look at all that ass going across the floor like that. I do what I can, boo. Hey, let's take a let's get some questions. Let's take a question, okay? Okay. All right, let's see. I don't, I don't see him. I got okay. it. Um, Norris Notes says, um, I am new to the LGBTQ plus community, and I have been reaching out to you to be my my mother. Um, how can you be? Do you do? You, are you do you offer? Are you a mentor to people, and are you a mother to to some? Well, I will say this, the kids that I have now, they, they are my kids and I love them, but they understand that they mamas is, uh, they mamas is on a journey right now. And I, I, I listen, I'm one of them, I'm one of them, uh, I'm one of the, the, the Vivica Fox mama, they're going to drop them off at their daddy house. <laughs> you're busy. You're not a I'm, bad mom. You're just, you're just booked and busy. You know, I, I'm, I feel busy. That. I'm busy. I'm busy. I'm busy, but you know, and I, I try to give what I can here and in these spaces and Definitely in that space back there, I'm gonna give what I can, you know, um, um, for them to 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 take notes and feed off of. And then, and sometimes when I get time, I go through my inbox and I I respond back and stuff like that. But I don't be, I, I really don't be having a whole lot of time. It's hey, time. I don't. It is what it is. But hey, it, look, we'll take T. S. Madison and any in any volume forms we can get. Boo! That's it right. has been. So awesome talking to you today. Miss Jesse, you, you ain't you. putting no more questions. That was your oh wait. Oh, hold on. Four more just came in. Hold on. Come on, questions. Um, let's see here. Um Lady Scorpio says, when the show when when the show start and what channel? <laughs> I'm not supposed to give y'all a specific date, so I won't March 4th. But um <laughs> 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 You're all <laughs> March fourth. Yeah. Well, it's going to be on WeTV. Um, uh, so get your cable packages together, and um, yeah, like come on, you gonna see me pumping out a lot of stuff soon because I got to do it in a few. What, what what's today? We're we're ending January. What's today? January twenty fifth. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, next month because it's a short month. I got a whole lot of stuff that I got to do internally for press. So I got to be. So you they're gonna see me pumping out like lots of stuff, pictures, videos, a lot of, of stuff. The whole, the whole hey, thing. Question. Should I grow the beard? Should I grow out the fuzz? What do you think? You're so handsome without it. And you know, I'd like to see you with it. Well, okay. Well then look, I'm gonna grow it out for you, okay? Because my mom says she hates it. And when your mom hates something, it, it makes you like I don't want to do whatever, but I kinda like it. Well, she probably thinks she see your dad on you. That's what it is. She probably be looking at you and see your daddy, honey. Oh, that's and, right. And, and, right. And that's probably what it is. So I would, I'd like to see you grow it out, make it thick. You know, you know, ain't nothing wrong with getting a little grease in your beard. You know, okay. and then, and then after that, you know, shave it off and let the girls know, honey, I'm still youthful, honey. There you go. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna let you get on with your week, TS. Thank you for your time. I think you're so dope. I think you're amazing. You're so entertaining, and I'm so excited for the show. I'm so happy for your growth and and who you're becoming. And you're gonna let them know. Yes. You're gonna, you're gonna let them know. 
Thank you, Jason. And listen, my daughter, gonna, my daughter Kayla down there, she's going to get this video. We're going to put this on YouTube so the children can get, get, it, get into all of this situation right here. Awesome. Thank you, my baby. I love you, Jason. And when I get back to Miami, I'll see you. Yes, ma'am. All right, baby. Bye. Bye. Yes, bye. I'm T.S. Madison. Oh, you don't know me? Well, now you'll never forget me. Yay! I got a big mouth, big dreams, and big things to say. I live my truth out loud and in color unapologetically. Oh, I'm sorry. Does that offend you? Well, girl, bye. Come on here and join me on my journey to superstardom. Ooh. The T.S. Madison Experience premieres this March on WeTV.